Hello, my name is Saffron Hurt, and my story consists of me kind of knowing that there was something wrong, yet at the same time, I didn't know what was wrong or if there was something wrong. I was surrounded by a lot of people who thought of me as like this cute, perfect child. Oh, she's so quiet. Oh, she's so smart, intelligent, stuff like that. And so I got this sort of bloated up my head and I sort of like ignored all the signs. And it wasn't until I think freshman year that I felt that something was wrong. And now four years later, something actually is wrong. I don't want to diagnose myself in any way, but I kind of have social anxiety because I noticed that I freeze, I can not look people in the eye, sort of shift my eyes, I can read the room that some of my um, friends, associates say, and it's just hard for me to speak my mind. Like I got a lot of ideas and what I want to say in my head, but for it to come out of my mouth, I sort of just get stuck and frozen. Like what I'm supposed to say, is it right or should I just keep it to myself? My story has made me more aware and has made me more cautious than ever to see those signs and acknowledge those signs. And in fact, when I mentioned earlier, when I was like a freshman, 14 years old, I actually went to go see a therapist, but because of money issues for my mom, we weren't able to go back. But it was sort of like the first time that I was actually able to be transparent, even though I sort of like took it as a joke, excuse me, at the time. But I was able to speak to this person who was willing to listen to me versus my mom, because obviously she's not a therapist, but somebody who was train and went to school they were able to listen to me and try to interpret what I was trying to say through my thoughts and stuff. My journey has looked like this. First and foremost I've surrounded myself around a bunch of good people that see me for me, don't have to put on a mask or anything for them, just real true authentic me and second off is not taking any nasty comments from anybody. To speak my mind, tell them hey I don't like this, this isn't cool and let them know it instead of letting them know that hey you can say this around me because I won't um look at you some certain way or say anything like, no, if I don't like this, then I'm going to say it. And I think that's earned me a lot of respect among people that once knew me and new people that's known me as well. If you feel as if something is wrong, then try and find help as fast as possible and as much as possible. It doesn't really, well, in a sense, it doesn't matter what someone might say. They might say, oh, you're perfectly fine, you're perfect this, then the third, but they don't really know because they're not you. They can get into your heart or your soul or in your brain, only you can. And if you know that something is wrong, then there's no shame in getting the help because helping yourself makes you feel better and it makes you the better person in all aspects. And you, it's great.